Good evening, this is Melinda Russell and I'm with the International Women's Motorsports Association and I'm also your host for Women in Motorsports. I want to welcome you to the show tonight. Our sponsors are International Women's Motorsports Association as well as Send Out Cards. We appreciate uh, both of those businesses who allow us to be on the radio with you tonight. So if you have any questions or you want to know more about the International Women's Motorsports Association, you can find us on our website at IWMANation.com. We also have a Facebook page that is the entire title, International Women's Motorsports Association. And if you also are interested in knowing more about send out cards, I'd love to talk to you. So just reach out to me. So tonight, my guest is Rachel Little. Rachel is a young girl that races at uh, Galesburg Speedway, and we're gonna learn more about Rachel and how she got started racing and why a young lady like her is interested in racing. So Rachel, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. No problem, we're excited to, to interview you tonight. So Rachel, why don't you tell our audience how old you are, we can tell your you're not an old grandma like me, so you're probably not afraid to say what your age is. Tell um, us how old you are and, and where you live, and um, we'll start with that. Um, I am 14. Um, I live in Bellevue, and... Uh, <sighs> okay. And where do you go to school, Rachel? Um, I go to Hastings High School. Okay, and are you going to be a sophomore or a freshman? Freshman. Freshman, you're going to be a freshman in high school, so that's exciting. So, tell me, when did you first get started racing? Um, I got started in racing last year. I actually started racing. I've been racing since I was born because my dad races and my whole family races. So, so you've been going to the racetrack for a really long time, 14 years, mm -hmm. and you started racing last year. Was that at Galesburg? Yes. Okay, and what class of car do you race at Galesburg? I race in the front wheel drives. Front wheel drive, okay. And so tell me a little bit about your car. Is it the same car you had last year? Yes. Okay, so you're probably a little more comfortable driving this year because you've driven that car now yes. for a whole year. Okay, and what does your car look like? What color is it and what's the number? Um, it is blue and orange and it is number 99. Okay, so why did you pick number 99? Um, it's my dad's number, so I just always liked it, so that's what my number is. Okay, I kind of figured it might be something like that. I hear that a lot from, from kids that race. They chose a family member's number, so that was nice that you chose his number. Yeah. So, Rachel, tell me, what is it that you like the most about racing? Um... Probably the adrenaline rush and, you know, people you meet along the way and memories you make at the track, you can hold on to those forever. And I think that's the most important thing to me. Okay, good. I like hearing that because from a 14 year old, they might not always get that those friendships are the things that really matter, but you get that. So that's, that's nice to hear. So, um, I know there's, you know, there's other girls that race at the, at Galesburg. I know, you know, McKenna, that's my granddaughter, but mm -hmm. why, why is racing a good sport for a girl to be involved in? Um, I'm not really, I mean, it's a good sport because you always meet good people. Mm -hmm. um, Do you think that if if a if a one of your classmates came up to you and said, "Rachel, I'm thinking about driving a race car. Should I do it or not?" What would you say to her? Oh, I would say go ahead. It's just the thrill. It's so amazing, and just actually getting out there in a male-dominated sport and showing them that girls can do what boys can do is just amazing. It is amazing. And once you get in the car, I, I had a, a lady say to me, once, once you get in the car, the car doesn't know if you're a girl or a boy, you're just a race car driver. And so, you know, yeah, so that's the part of it that you're on equal playing field with the guys when you're out on the track, 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what has been your most memorable moment or something that you're proud of as far as your racing career? Um, every night is like a new goal because I always get better every week. Mm -hmm. I always go faster. I always do better, finish top, my like finish higher than I did the last week. So every week is just new goals that I set for myself and I reach them every time. That's, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. Goal setting is important, not even, not just in racing, but in life in general. That's, that's an important thing to learn at a young age, especially. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Do you have brothers or sisters? Um, I have one younger sister. Okay. And is she interested in racing at all? Yeah, she is. But unfortunately, she's not old enough. Okay. So how old is your sister? She's 11. Going to be 12. Okay. Okay, so it'll be a few more years before she'll be on the track. Yeah. Uh, maybe you'll be racing against each other someday, so that would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Is your dad still racing? Um, he hasn't raced since last year because he's been working at the track, and um, he's been helping me out this year, so he's going to let me have a chance, and then maybe he'll get back out there. Okay, that's what I wondered. So your dad helps you with your car. Do you have anybody else that helps you on your car? Um, just my family. Okay, your family. And um, do you have any marketing partners? Anybody that helps sponsor your car? Um, Urbandale Hardware. Okay, all right, that's good. We want to give them a shout out. That's important, those sponsors are. So now tell me um, a little bit more like in school, what's your... Do you play sports? What's your favorite thing at school? Your favorite subject or what do you like about school? Um, I do not play any sports. Um, I am in the marching band. Okay, good. Yeah, that takes a lot of time, doesn't it, in the summer? Yeah. Yeah, so you'll probably be starting. Have you started your practices for band yet for the summer? Um, they start tomorrow for pre-band camp and then we have band camp next week. Okay, so we're going to pray that it's cool next week when you're at band camp, because it usually seems like it always gets super hot when the kids go back and practice football and band and all that. So we're going to hope for cool weather for you next week. Thank you. <laughs> so Rachel, what else do you do to fill your time then? What are, what are some of your things that you like to do or a passion you have besides racing? Um... Not really anything. It's just racing and band. Okay. All right. And then did somebody tell me that you volunteer? Do you volunteer somewhere at, at the hospital or somewhere? Or, um, no. No. Okay. All right. I must have that wrong with uh, wrong, wrong information. So, so um, what's your goal for racing? I mean, I know you're in the front wheel drive. So mm -hmm. is your goal to stay in that for a couple of years and then move up? What do you think you want to be doing? Um, just getting seat time this year and next year. Um, so then um, once I get more seat time, then I'll move up into my dad's street stock. Okay. So he's going to keep that car around so you can drive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, what, are, what are some things like um, – the friendships and things you talked about at the track. What are some things like, is there a special fan that you have that you've made friends with? Or um, just tell me a little bit more about that, how you make those friendships and what they mean to you. Um, I've made friendships like since I was younger because my dad got in racing. So I was always with him. So I was made friends with his friends' kids, so I just got brought up into those friendships along the way. Okay, and do any of those kids race too, or are you the only one that actually drives a car? Um, I had racing friends, have kids that races. Okay, so all of your parents have kind of passed down this passion of racing to their kids, haven't they? Your dad passed your love for racing on to you. Yeah, that's that. Mm -hmm. I hear that a lot, Rachel. Uh, most kids your age or younger don't just jump into racing because they saw it on TV. Most of them grew up at the racetrack and had a parent that 
that did it. So they, they kind of grew up in the sport. So what would be, um, what would be one thing that nobody knows about you that you're willing to share? You don't have to tell us any secrets. <laughs> um, well, I am actually a cancer survivor. Oh, you are. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, Go ahead. Um, when I was two, I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Oh. I went through chemo and, you know, steroids and everything for two years. And then on November 11th in 2007, I was cancer free. Wonderful. So I am 10, almost 11 years in remission. Wow, that's, that's wonderful. So did you know that I was also a cancer survivor? I didn't know that. Yeah, so we have something in common. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2002. And I too went through, I went through chemo and radiation and uh, had a little surgery and I have been cancer free since then as well. So we're going to have to give each other a high five when we see each other about that. That's a big deal, you know, to, to be cancer free. You and I both know that. And, and um, I've, kn I've met quite a few ladies and girls, not girls so much, but ladies who are in racing who once they find out I'm a survivor, they share that with me. So I appreciate that you shared that. So um, do you, do you, like, I have a passion for um, Breast Cancer Association. So do you do anything with any kind of um, groups or anything to give back to the, maybe the kids that are going through it now? Um, last year, we started making cancer ribbons that are orange in honor of leukemia, and they have my name on them. And we started, um, uh, we didn't sell them, but um, we had someone make them for us, and then we were giving to the race car drivers, and we would just ask for a donation. Nice. And then all the donations we got, we went in the wintertime, and my parents took a day off work. We went shopping and got toys and stuff for my clinic that I go to. Okay. And, gift cards and stuff for the kids that um get cancer free then they you know get gift cards and gifts and stuff and then that's what that's, we that's we great so that. are you still doing that this year or that was just last year that you did that um we're trying to do it again this year it's going on this year we just haven't made as much as we have last year yet okay well we're gonna give a challenge out there to all the people that are listening to this that they need to send a donation and help you help those kids because that's that's a really good cause and it's it's good that you have a heart for those kids because you know what they're going through don't you mm -hmm. yeah it's and it's easier to help someone when you've been through it then you understand you know how they're feeling so how would, is it at the racetrack, you just, at Galesburg, you have the ribbons and you ask for donations, or is there um, another way that we could get some donations to you? Um, it is in the pit shack, okay. and the ribbons are with my mom, because she works in the pit shack, she gives all pit passes at the birth. Okay. So, we have a container, and it says, Donations are greatly appreciated, and it's got a container, and then we have stickers that you can give. You can take as many as you want, and okay. just for a donation. It doesn't matter how much. All right, awesome. So um, when we're done with our recording today, then I'm, I want to connect with your mom and see if we can figure out a way that if somebody that doesn't come to the Berg, maybe they live in another state, but they would like to donate, how they could donate and help help you help the kids with leukemia. How's that? That, that sounds good. Okay, so I, I'm going to put a challenge out to all our listeners. If they, if each listener only gave a dollar and we had 2,000 people listen, think how much that would help those kids. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to help you with that. How's that? Thank okay. you. All right, no problem. So now I know the Berg's been rained out a couple times and it's frustrating. So when, when the Berg rains out on a Saturday night, what do you do instead of going to the races? Um, we sit at home or we go out and do something that we haven't been able to do since we've been busy at the racetrack. 
Right. So you said your mom works in the pit shack and your dad works at the track as well. And then you're racing. So that's, that's your life on the weekends, isn't it? To go mm -hmm. to the racetrack. Do you ever race at any other racetracks? Um, I have not yet. Um, we are looking at going to Spartan before okay. the end of the season for Slugfest. Oh, yeah, that would be fun. So you drive a front-wheel drive car. So are you aware of the Midwest Compact Series that, yeah. that travels? So that mm -hmm. would be maybe a goal for you down the road that you could be a part of that series. I know uh, Woody and Drew do a lot of work, and they, they have a good, a good um, incentive for girls right now. Now, mm -hmm. they got rained out last weekend, but I believe – the Kalamazoo race has been rescheduled. And did you know that the first girl or woman to win a feature wins $1,000? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so um, you'll have to watch for when that race was rescheduled for Kalamazoo because that wouldn't be far to go and it would be cars just like yours. And wouldn't that be cool if you could win that $1,000? That would be, that would be really good. So um, yeah, I, I'll help you remember when that's coming up. Okay. So Rachel, what, what else, is there anything else about your, your racing career? Or um, I think I asked you, but I'm not sure what you told me now, I gotta remember. What was your, what's your most memorable moment or the thing you're the proudest of about your racing? Um, the thing I'm, well, I make accomplishments every weekend. So that's just every weekend is memorable because I always end up doing something better than the last week. Okay, you did answer that. So I wasn't sure. I couldn't remember if I'd ask you that question. I left my questions at home. So I'm just winging it and remembering what I've asked on interviews before. So I apologize if I ask you something more than once. You're fine. So, um, I, I really probably don't have any other questions unless, is there anything else that you would like to share either about what you're doing with the kids or about your race team? Is there anybody you want to thank, thank for anything? Um, I would just like to thank my mom, my dad, and my sister, and all my family members that come out and help fix my car if I break it or something and just help me fix it. Okay, awesome. So what's the, have you ever started on the pole for a race? Um, yes. Okay, how, how is that, starting on the pole, when you know you're going to lead that field of cars to the green flag? Is it nerve-wracking? Is it exciting? What, how, how do you feel when you've done that? Um, I feel good, but then I also am nervous at the same time, because if I don't go fast enough, I'm afraid someone's going to like run into me. <laughs> yeah, that happens sometimes, doesn't it? But, but it's an honor to be on that pole. So you, when, when you're on it the next time, you just take charge and, and lead the field and take it all the way to the checkered flag. That's the way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, I, like I said, I don't have any other questions for you, Rachel. Is there anything else you want to share or shall we wrap this up? Um. I don't have anything else. Okay, well, so to our listeners out there, I want you to follow um, tonight or whenever this is going to air, I want you to follow Rachel. We're going to help her raise more money than she's ever raised to help those kids that are going through leukemia and some kind of cancer. Rachel's been through it herself. She knows what that's like. Her family knows what's that, what that's like. She's a survivor. Look at that girl. She doesn't look like she's ever been sick a day in her life. So we want all kids to have that same chance that Rachel had. So we're going to do what we can to help you, Rachel, and we'll, we'll report in at the end of the season and see how we did. How's that? Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So that is Rachel Little. She races at Galesburg Speedway. She's only 14 years old, folks, and she's in her second year of racing. So that's pretty fun. Um, we are going to put some information out again about uh, the fundraising she's doing, and I'm excited to see what all of our listeners can do to help her. So thanks for listening in tonight. This has been Women in Motorsports, sponsored by the International Women's Motorsports Association. 
and send out cards. If you um, want to check out one of our new sites, we have a new website called racinggirlsrock.com and it'll take you to a page to give us your email and then we'll be able to send you free copies of our magazine. We do a monthly digital magazine where we do stories about girls just like Rachel. We're gonna have to get her story in there. And we do stories about women and girls all over the United States and internationally. And we wanna send you the magazine for free. So if you go in and give us your email, we'll send you the link to um, open that up and read it on your phone, on your tablet, and you can print it and share it. And, and we love sharing the stories of women and girls just like Rachel. So get in there, racinggirlsrock.com. Thank you, Rachel, again for being on, and we'll talk to you next week.